Hello and welcome to our video on accessing Microsoft, Microsoft Imagine Academy for teachers. Teachers are able to access Microsoft Imagine Academy from anywhere and one of the easiest ways to do this is to go into the search bar and to type member.imagineacademy.microsoft.com into the search bar. This will redirect you to the Microsoft Imagine Academy sign-in page for teachers. Teachers will click on the sign-in and this will ask them whether they want to use an Office 365 account or a Microsoft account. Teachers for Spokane Public Schools will use an Office 365 account when signing in. For the purposes of this video, we will use a Microsoft account. The email address and the password have been sent to you previously in an email. We will be using the teacher preview at outlook.com address as well as the learn 2016 password. Be sure that you put outlook.com after the teacher preview or the system will not know where to send you. As you can see, there are many helpful options for the teacher on the Microsoft Imagine Academy teacher side. They have lots of different places where they could explore and find resources to use in their classroom. There's the student certification where it explains to teachers the benefits of getting their students certified in different Microsoft products. The educator development that talks about pedagogies, skills and knowledge development resources, and all sorts of other tools for teachers. We want to explore the classroom, so I would like to have you click on classroom. This will take you to another part of the teacher dashboard where teachers are able to go to a curriculum overview for many different Microsoft products. They can go to the online learning dashboard, which is where we're choosing to go. As you can see, once you come to the online learning dashboard for teachers, it's set up very similar to the student side. We have learning plans, users, groups, and reports. In the learning plans, teachers are able to load and select and preview different courses for the learning plans that they'd like to set up for their students. Under the user tab, teachers are able to upload their students by class and they can load many different users at once or one user at a time. Under the groups, teachers are able to actually load their students into different classes or different levels depending on the way that they'd like to organize their their dashboard and under reports teachers will find this a helpful option for printing assessment reports as well as current activity reports microsoft has also set up help topics where they have included many helpful pdfs and videos online on this side, the teachers will also find the teacher profile where they can edit their profile, manage their subscriptions, switch organizations if they've transferred schools, and go out to the learner site where they're actually able to view how it looks as a learner in the class and help their students to navigate through the learner side. As you can see, the teacher dashboard offers the ability to see the learner side of it so that they can help navigate their students through the learner side of the Imagine Academy. For teachers to get back to the admin site, they simply have to go up to their teacher profile, the profile icon and go to admin site. Right now, we're going to go in and we're going to learn about the learning plans. So as you can see, teachers have many different options in here. They are able to set up learning plans with different courses in them and manage their courses. They are also able from this part to manage enrollment codes and create codes and email codes to their students. They can also group their students um, under different levels in different classes and manage users as well as add new users. 
This is the course activity reports option for this class for the Excel unit, and this would be the assessment activity report for the Excel unit. As you can see, each different learning plan has these options where it will pull up just the assessment activity reports for the learning plan for creative coding. Teachers are also able to cre create their own custom enrollment links to email to their students or copy for their students so that the stu students can take these enrollment codes and make sure that they put them in on the student side and are in the, the correct course that the teacher has set up. This also is a place where teachers are able to add to their learning plans. So to add learning plans, they just type in the, the different Microsoft um, products that they would like to teach their students about, and they can search in their own learning plans for them. Teachers may have many different learning plans on their pages depending on how many different units they're teaching or how many different classes they're teaching, so this is a good option for teachers to be able to find what they're looking for under their classes. Adding the, some more classes to the learning plans, they can go down here and go to Manage Courses, and then they can add and remove any courses that they don't want to have in their learning plans anymore. They can also select custom names for the learning plan. As you can see, there are many different options that you could explore over many hours. So for right now, we just wanted to walk you through the helpful options of what the dashboard looks like and navigating the dashboard. Thank you for taking your time to watch our video on accessing the Imagine Academy for Teachers and how to navigate the dashboard.